Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line. Another week, another circuit guide here on iRacing for the BMW 12.0 series. Once again in the BMW M4 GT4 car. This time we are around Autodromo, Jose Carlos Pace or Pace or Interlagos or Sao Paulo or the Brazilian Grand Prix. Whatever you want to call it, it's quite a weird lap and quite difficult to learn as there's many varying lines that you can take through some of these corners, but at least you get to see the nice sunset as it's set to the late afternoon time during this session once again same format as before a breakdown lap showing you where to break and what gears to be in then a full speed lap uninterrupted with the telemetry in the bottom left and then an off-board lap showing you where to position the car once again this is filmed the day before the week has begun so it's hard to compare lap times i'm expecting top split times to be in the 140s the lap time we did today was a 141414 which is quite satisfying or a 141.4 so let's get started so you want to be on the right hand side ready for the left hander of turn one. You are not going to break at the 100 metre borders, that is too soon. You're not going to break at the 50 metre borders, that's too late. So aim for in between the two, the 75 mark, and break from fifth down into third. We're then going to chuck it in turn left, patient on the throttle and cutting this inside curve. The more patient you are, the more you can get on the left hand side and open up the next right hander for the long straight and create yourself an overtaking opportunity. Dab the throttle, you want to lift off for this next right hander. Don't cut too much. If you cross that white line, you will get a 1x. But you should be flat out once you reach the apex point as you go up the gears through the exit of this corner. As I said, an overtaking opportunity. You want to stick to the left hand side as you climb up the gears. All flat out through here. Be careful on cold tyres though. And now you can have a quick breather as you look for the next braking zone on the next corner. Right hand side, 100 metre board, nice and easy from fifth down into third. You then want to chuck it in and treat this as one long corner. So you hit the apex of this first one and accelerate out full speed, out to the right hand side, back over to the left as you climb up the gears, and then you're ready and away on this straight. Braking zone for this next corner, you want to look out for this little hut on the left hand side. Don't brake when you see it, brake when you think it's to the left of your car. You're going to go from fifth down into third. You can miss this first apex here as it's more important to carry the speed through and feather your throttle all the way through this corner. Once you see this apex, that's when you should be flat out. You're going to accelerate up to fourth gear, come out to the left hand side. You're going to brake when you see that Sao Paulo on the left hand side. That's going to go out of view and you're going to go from fourth down into second. As you then chuck it in patient on the power, cut this curve up into third. Quick dab on the brakes, you're going to carry the speed through and you can accelerate earlier than you think, actually before the apex as you climb up this hill. You're not going to quite reach fourth gear here, you're going to brake at that tree, go down into second, move right over to the left and patient on the power here. You're going to want to be on the right hand side as you exit this corner. If you accelerate too early, you'll understeer to the left and you'll lose time all the way down here. You're going to take all of this flat all the way down the hill. I actually lifted here. I got a little bit scared, but I'm pretty sure you can take that flat. Now, this corner is where people are going to gain loads of time. We're going to cross all of that white line with our whole car, but not before that curb's finished. Once that curb's finished, that's our braking zone, but don't cross too early as you'll get a 1x. Our car fits perfectly between that white line and that blue stuff, and that's where we're going to go. Down into third, chuck it into the final corner. Don't cut it as much as I did there, but accelerate out over to the right-hand side, all the way up the gears along this main curved straight. We're going to come back over to the left, back over to the right. That's all about scrubbing off as little speed as you can. If you want an extra couple of thousandths, cut the pit lane, why don't you? You can, you will not get penalised. You want to then bring your car back over to the right to start your next lap. So here we go then, full speed, uninterrupted with the telemetry, braking at 75, down into third, chuck it in and cut this first curve. Back on the power, Lift off for this corner, straight back on, and accelerate flat out all the way around here. Stick to the left-hand side. I think this is going to be the main overtaking opportunity. If you are defending into turn one, you can break a little bit later than that 75 mark if you wish. 100 metre board, fifth to third. Treat this as one big corner. Turn in, hit the first apex, accelerate out. Onto the exit curb, back over to the right, up into fourth. Looking for that heart on the left hand side as you go up into fifth, you're going to break back down into third. Now, miss the first apex, carry the speed through, feather that throttle and accelerate once you get onto this curve. Breaking from fourth to second, cut the first curve, accelerate out, up to third, quick break, carry the speed through and accelerate earlier than you think you can. Come back over to the left, look for the tree, break down into second. 
cut this first curve and stick to the right hand side as you want to carry your speed through. Again, you can lift to keep the car more stable when I got a little bit scared, but I'm pretty sure you can do that flat. Get ready to get off the track, down into third, cut this curb, accelerate out. The car's quite stable through here. Now you want to scrub off as little speed as you can. Drift slowly back over to the left. Slowly back over to the right. And then for the extra couple of thousandths, cut the pit lane line and then move back over to the right hand side to start your next lap. That is pretty much it from me. I'm going to leave you with an off-board lap to show you where to position the car. Thanks for all your comments down below. Keep them coming and let me know how you did. Hopefully I'll see some of you on track this week. I've got some more series planned coming over the next few weeks, so keep an eye out for those. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next week for a brand new circuit guide on the racing line. Peace.